it's our pleasure to add an honorary strong woman to our roster of prestigious award recipients. This individual took the helm of the Strong Men and Women program at the turn of the century, the 21st century. <laughs> she nurtured it and built a strong partnership with the Library of Virginia. I'm speaking, of course, about my dear friend and colleague, Brenda Jones. According to our records, <laughs> well, Sandy and I will both pay for this later, I'm sure. <laughs> According to our records, Brenda has met and honored 138 strong men and women since 2000, and she's judged nearly 3,000 student essays. You know, it takes a whole lot of uh, volunteers to bring an evening, an evening like this together. And many of those who have volunteered to help make it possible have done so simply because Brenda asks. With her dominion-led values and her innate enthusiasm, Brenda has brought insights, ideas, and a laser focus to the multifaceted process of staging this event and making it a part of the Virginia landscape. The Library of Virginia knows the history of and the roots of the Strong Men and Women program, and we appreciate the strong partnership we've had that Brenda has launched us now into our fifth anniversary coming up in 2017. Honorees have expressed their appreciation and their kudos to Brenda. Their many letters and notes of thanks cite her as the avatar of pride and as a leader. They commend the showcase of student essay scholars and the range of essays developed. And she certainly has been instrumental in developing thoughtful questions for this component of the Strong Men and Women in Virginia History program. Quoting the late poet Maya Angelou, these words from her legendary poem, Phenomenal Woman, sum up Brenda Jones to all of her colleagues and friends. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about or have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud. I say it's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need of my care, because I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. Everybody who knows me know that I hate this. <laughs> I like being in the background. But, you know, I'm actually speechless, and that's, that, that doesn't happen too often. <laughs> but I find myself in this very uncomfortable but humbling situation. Um, and I'd like to take a couple of minutes just to leave you with my five Bs. And, you know, something told me something like this may happen. So my first B is be prepared. <laughs> The next and most important B is be thankful. I want to thank God for my life and all my blessings I've been given. How many people can say that they've been on a job that they've enjoyed for almost 39 years? I owe much of my success at Dominion to a very special lady, and I would be remiss not to publicly acknowledge her tonight she is Eva Teague Hardy. Would you please stand, Eva? Thank you eternally from the bottom of my heart for having enough faith in me to give me the opportunity 
and the flexibility to grow. I hope I've made you proud. I also want to thank Hunter, and I'm going to get him, <laughs> and Iris Holiday. Hi, Iris, you're hiding in the back, but I know you're back there for making the time, making this time to, to shine the light on me for my last program. It is indeed bittersweet. I also appreciate all the new friends I've made through the years working with the program from honorees to students. And to all my colleagues and friends who've always helped me with this program, I couldn't do it without them. We've been a great team because this program is impossible to pull off alone. My third B is be blessed. I'm blessed in so many ways, and my biggest and best blessing is my family, who are here tonight. They are my mom, who's just my best friend. Um, could you all just please stand, all my family? I'm like Dr. Perkins. I can't, can't see you all out there, but please stand. My husband and my daughter Morgan and her husband and Brandon, my son Brandon, who escorted me up here, and his wife Vanessa, and actually I got some extended family members too. And, and my, my pastor is here. He comes to every program. Him and his, he married my cousin, so I just call him Cousin Pastor. So, <laughs> so, so Pastor, Pastor Drayden, will you please stand, please? I hope you're proud of me. I know I'm a Christian under construction, but I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> So I hope you all have enjoyed the programs as much as I've enjoyed coordinating them through the years. So finally, my fourth and fifth Bs are the easiest, and they are. Number four, be done. <laughs> number five, be seated. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>